Welcome to Mastery Max. Today, Mastery Max is going to teach us the concept words from Chapter 4 in Reading is Not Enough. In the book, you will find the shapes. We have the different shapes in which we can, which we can use to teach the concept words. There are also instructions that we can use. So this is what we'll use today, but you can make up your own instructions as well. So number one says, place the shapes on the table and name the color and the shape. So the first shape we have here is the heart and it is red. Is that right, Mastery Max? Another shape we have is the rectangle and it is orange. Opposite sides are equal. But when we look at the square, this one is blue. All sides are the same size. So they, we say they are equal. This green one is a triangle. And it has three sides. This round one is a circle. And it is yellow. And this one is a parallelogram. And it is purple or mauve. And is a big long word to say. Say parallelogram. Is that right, Mastery Max? Okay, now let's use our shapes to understand the words that we're reading. It says place the circle across from the square. So I need the circle and I need the square. So that's going to be yellow and blue. So it says place the circle across from the square. So I'll put the square down and then I will put the circle across from it. So here we have, we can go across this way. Put that away. I'm looking at number three. Pick up the orange rectangle after the yellow circle. So I'll need the circle and place the um, after what number was I looking at? Um, pick up the orange rectangle. So here's the orange rectangle and the circle. All right, so I've got those, so I've got it down. Now it says, pick up the orange rectangle after the yellow circle. So that means I have to pick up the yellow circle first and then the orange triangle. So that takes us a little bit of thinking to do that. Okay, number four says, place the shapes in three rows. How many are in each row? Well, let's make three rows. One, two, three. So we want three rows and I'll put some more underneath. One, two, three. All right, so I have three rows. One, two, three. But how many do I have in each row? I have two in this row, two in this row, and two in this row. Isn't that right, Mastery Max? Another one says, put the heart next to the circle. So I'll pick up the heart and the circle. So it says, put the heart next to the circle. So there's my circle. And now I'll put my heart beside it. Now let's look at a little harder one. Place the circle between the square and the triangle. So it looks like I need a circle, a square, which is the blue one, and the triangle. Well, now it says, put the square put the square between the circle and the triangle. So here I have it. Here's the circle, the triangle, and I'm going to put this one in between. So now I understand the word between. 
Let's pick another one. Put the triangle on top of the circle. So I need the triangle and the circle. Now it says put the triangle on top of the circle. Here I go. Here's the circle and it said put the triangle on top. So I'm going to put that on top. So there we're understanding the concept of what these words in, in the, on the list. Now, one more. Place the yellow circle under the triangle. Yellow circle, triangle. So it said to put it under the triangle. So the yellow circle is under the triangle. If I put it over here, it would be um, beside. This side would be side. Or this would be above, but this one says below. So let's put that one below. So this is a little game that you can use to learn to understand the concept words as you learn to read them as well. Thank you, Mastery Max, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Concept words. So learn your concept words. There are 100 of them. Bye for now.